buenas tardes tengan todos ustedes, buenas noches, buenos días. Saludos su amigo Antonio Yoa Peña, estás es en Beat Bites y otros. Nuevamente estamos un programa más. El día de hoy estoy por el bulevar eh, Bolosio, voy de rumbo de sur a norte. De mi lado derecho está lo que viene siendo Estados Unidos, de mi lado izquierdo viene siendo lo que es el área eh, de un lado, de un costado de la ciudad de Nuevo Laredo. Imagínense una pelota de fútbol. Y esa pelota de fútbol lo que trae es, bueno, este, algo de luz, cámara, y sensores, movimientos. que siempre se han peleado porque tienen que, que entró gol, que entró mal, que fuera del lugar y cosas. Bueno, imagínense una pelota que tenga todas esas características. Algo así, para que me vean y para que me crean en este video. Otra cosa interesante es, imagínense un USB de 256 GB, interesante, vamos a poner la imagen, otra cosa, imagínense teniendo ese USB ahora con la idea de los Xbox, los Xbox están tratando de que liberar un software para que los puedan ustedes, los aficionados, puedan de alguna forma compartir y grabar esa información que nada más se puede guardar en ciertos dispositivos por parte del Xbox. Ahora se puede usar, bueno, se puede decir en estos días, se va a liberar lo que viene siendo el para poder guardarlo ahora en cualquier USB de cualquier capacidad. Interesante. Vamos a la imagen para que me vean. Vamos a poner un video para que me entiendan lo que quiero hablar. Pasamos video. estoy explicando, ese video está hablando de un nuevo software que se llama de Microsoft eh, Windows Multipoint Server 2010, lo que hace es que una sola máquina puede tener 10 monitores, 10 teclados, 10 ratones y 10 audios independientes con cuentas diferentes y en la cual el maestro con pocas opciones o pocas eh, cooperaciones de, de que viene siendo informática puede operar, administrar es, esos equi ese equipo básicamente. Algo para que me puedan entender después de este video. This is Anne. Like many teachers, she had only one computer in her classroom. But now it's going to be different because Anne is using Windows Multipoint Server 2010. 
With Windows Multipoint Server 2010, she still has one computer. But now that one computer is powering multiple user stations, each with its own monitor, keyboard, and mouse. All her students will get a personal computing session just by attaching individual stations to the host computer. And because Windows Multipoint Server 2010 is specifically designed for non-technical users, it's easy for her to set up and use. When Anne turns on the computer, the system automatically detects the hardware she's added. She creates user accounts and folders for each student. It doesn't matter what station her students log into because everyone's session is running from one computer. Everyone will get a Windows experience with features such as the familiar Windows desktop, Internet Explorer, Windows Media Player and more. This student can work on his book report while another student is researching whales for her science project. With Windows Multipoint Server 2010, a single computer can run multiple stations. It's like giving each person their own computer. But it's more affordable and offers all the benefits of the latest Windows features. It's lunchtime. This student wants to join his classmates at recess, but he's researching his project on the web and he's in the middle of editing photos. So, he uses the disconnect feature instead of logging off. That way, he doesn't lose his computer session. Anne can even disconnect the station remotely if someone forgets. Windows Multipoint Server 2010 features saving to both private and public document libraries. They're very helpful for Anne when she assigns work. Right now, she's assigning a quiz. To share the file, she simply saves it to the class's public folder. Now everyone can have instant access to the file. When the student comes back, he can sit down at any station and get right back to what he was doing, just the way he left it. Then when he's done, he can save his documents in his personal folder. It's time for the quiz. When everyone is finished, they move their completed quiz into their personal folder in their private document library. So Anne can grade them later. With Windows Multipoint Server 2010, Anne can access each user station's private document library, but other users cannot. Windows Multipoint Server 2010 supports programs like Microsoft OneNote that let groups of kids work on the same project at the same time. When one student makes a change on her station, it shows up on all the other student stations almost instantly. Anne and her class have used Windows Multipoint Server 2010 as a learning tool throughout the entire day. But Anne's day isn't done yet. She still needs to grade the quizzes. She opens each of the students' personal folders and marks each student's results. She saves them back to their personal folders so that in the morning, they'll be able to check their grades from any station. Windows Multipoint Server 2010. Giving all students the 21st century skills they need. Just imagine what you could do. Interesante, ¿verdad? Bueno, hasta el día de hoy vamos a dejarlo hasta aquí. Y no se olviden, estén con ustedes aquí en el webcast laredo.com. También nos puede estar visitando Beats, Bytes y otros punto blogspot.com. Y también en Mexa. Eh, blog en la cual eh, también nuestro amigo nos están compartiendo el sitio con más gente a nivel mundial. No me despido con ustedes, Antonio Ulloa Peña.